Hey everyone, uh, it's day 21 of the 90 videos in 90 days gaming detox challenge and it might look like I'm in bed, <laughs> which technically I am, but I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not sleeping, I'm just, I've just finished up my work for the day, uploaded the Game Quitters podcast, it's all about how journaling has made a huge difference in my, my detox and has uh, given me so many benefits over these last few weeks and so really great episode so make sure you go and check that out if you go to gaming the system or gamequitters.com forward slash podcast or game gaming the system dot transistor dot fm you can go and listen to that um really good episode really pleased with it but i was sitting here um just going through the journal watching some TV, just chilling before my girlfriend gets home, and I was having some thoughts about stepping back and knowing when enough is enough. So I've been having a lot of having a lot of issues recently with my work and my personal um or my mental health, I guess, my personal health. And it's given me a lot of time to reflect, which I think is good, but which it's given me a lot of time to reflect, which is good, because I've always been someone who's thought of brute force being the only way of getting through a problem. Like if I keep going, if I keep, um, I'm sure you've seen that picture of two guys who are mining underground with a pickaxe and one of them gives up, but he's so close to like a huge stash of diamonds and another one is like chasing or something. I don't know. But you probably know the image I mean. I might put it on screen like around here somewhere. <laughs> and uh, I've always thought I could just get through a problem by like chipping away at it and keep going. Even though I don't want to do it. Even though every part of my body, every bone in my body is telling me to stop. And I've got all this anxiety and stress. I've always thought that the best way to do it is just to keep going. It's a normal part of the pro, the, the process. Uh, they always tell you that to be successful, you have to work like a ton of hours and put yourself through hardships. But I think the more I'm thinking about it, the more I think it's important for me to realize when or how much is too much and. I'm making some big decisions in my life at the moment that will definitely have a big effect going forward. And so, yeah, I'll keep you updated on here. I'm not going to get too too personal into the details. But, yeah, it's it's important to reflect and it's important to take some time to step back and think about why you're doing what you're doing. What's your end goal? What's your reasoning behind it and I realized that the reasoning that I had behind why I was putting myself through what I was putting myself through isn't strong enough to justify the harm that it's causing to myself so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this <laughs> this reflective episode of the vlog of me lying in my bed been some pretty low effort vlogs recently just me Recording myself on my phone, no B-roll, no no transitions, no nothing. Um, but yeah, there's still 69 days. No. Yeah. Huh. Nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a lot of time for me to improve. But I'm not focused on that right now. I'm focused on where I'm at, my situation, what I can do while I'm in isolation... Because it's a pain in the ass having my gym closed. <laughs> but yeah. Things going well with me. Craving's still strong. Not going to the gym sucks ass. But I'm getting through it. And I hope you are too. But thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.